This is an example of a parallel circuit. A parallel circuit has more than one branch for the current. For example, in this circuit, the current comes out of the battery, some of it goes through this resistor, while the rest of it goes through this resistor. Each device in a parallel circuit gets the full voltage of the battery. So for example, if these are both light bulbs, they would both be bright. As you add more branches in a parallel circuit, the resistance decreases. Now you can follow along with me or you can pause it and try to figure this out yourself. But what I want to figure out is the voltage of each resistor and the current through one, two, three places in the circuit. Now first of all, to find the current through each resistor, I'm going to use Ohm's law. Current equals voltage divided by resistance. I'll look at this top resistor first. Its voltage is 12 because it gets the full voltage of the battery and its resistance is 4. So the current in this branch is 3 amps. Now the calculation for this branch would be the same. To find the current coming out of the battery, I can just add 3 amps plus 3 amps equals 6 amps. So right here and right here, there'd be 6 amps of current. There's another way to figure that out. I could say the total current or the total current coming out of the battery equals the voltage of the battery divided by the total resistance of the circuit. To get the total resistance for devices in parallel, there are two formulas you can use. I'll explain the shortcut formula first and I'll get to the other one later. The shortcut formula says total resistance equals the product of the two individual resistors. So 4 times 4 divided by the sum of the two resistors. 4 plus 4. So we have 16 divided by 8, which is 2 ohms. So the total resistance for the circuit is 2 ohms. And the voltage of the battery is 12, so we will get 6 amps for the current. What about this one? This is a compound circuit. These two resistors are in series, but they're in parallel with this one. We want to find the current here, here, and here, and also the voltage for each resistor. First of all, I'll find the current through this bottom branch. Current equals voltage divided by resistance. 12 divided by 2 means there's 6 amps in this branch. If I want to find the voltage of this, well, I just say mm, the battery is 12 volts, so this must be 12 volts. Now, these two are a little trickier. First thing I have to do is find the total resistance of this branch. Because these are in series, the total is 6. So then the current would equal the voltage of the battery, 12, divided by the resistance of this branch, 6, or 2 amps. To get the voltage for each of these, I'll just multiply the current times resistance. So 2 times 2 means this is 4 volts. 2 times 4 means this one is 8 volts. Notice these two add to the voltage of the battery. Finally, to get the current coming out of the battery, I will just add 2 plus 6 equals 8. Now this last one's even more tricky. I want to find the voltage of each resistor and the current in 1, 2, 3, 4 locations. I'll do the bottom resistor first because it's the easiest. Its current is the voltage, 24 divided by 12, or 2 amps. So it has a current of 2 amps and a voltage of 24. Now, I have to simplify this top branch. So this 2 is in series with these two 8s in parallel. 8 and 8 in parallel equals 4. So the total of this branch is 6 ohms. So the current through this branch is 24 divided by 6, or 4 amps. When the current gets to this point, it will split. Half will go here, half will go here. So there's 2 amps of current there, and 2 here. And then here they join back together, and I have 4 amps coming out right there. Now to get these voltages, I have to use Ohm's law. Voltage is current 
times resistance, 2 times 4 equals 8 volts for this resistor, 2 times 8 equals 16 volts for this resistor, and this, would, this one would also be 16. Now these two, if you imagine going through this resistor and then choosing either this one or this one, so let's say an electron goes through here and up around this one, the total voltage will be 8 plus 16 or 24. So it still obeys the rule that the total voltage of the branch is 24 volts no matter which path you choose. Now finally I want to go over the formula for multiple resistors in parallel. The formula says 1 divided by the total resistance equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus however many resistors you have. So for example in this case 1 over R total would equal 1 ninth plus 1 half plus 1 fifth. You could simplify this by getting a common denominator, but I'll just do it the easy way and use my calculator. 1 ninth is 0 0.1 repeating, 1 half is 0.5, and 1 fifth is 2 tenths. If I add those up, I get 0 0.8111 repeating. But that equals 1 divided by R total. To get R total, I have to find the reciprocal of this number, or 1 divided by 0.8111. This is a step that everybody forgets. So if I take 1 divided by 0.8111, I get 1.23 ohms. And that's what the total resistance of these three in parallel equals.